here I am, sitting down. I'm about to finish editing a video, realized my daughter deleted it. video was spot on and perfect. I had shots of like the packaging and ASMR sounds of me opening it and just above and beyond. Okay. I had it all edited ready for the last piece to be sent to me. So I put it all together and just upload it. And now here we are. We're gonna start over. We're gonna do a redo. I don't know if you have kids, but if you do and they like playing on your phone, if you have something important on there, it might go missing. So here we are ordered from Shein and I know I raised it differently. Shein, Shine, Shein, all different ways to say it. Um, my best friend pointed out a good point that it's Shein, like Shein, so we're gonna call it Shein and just go with it. But if you guys know about Shein, you know that it has mixed reviews because it used to be kind of bad. It used to be bad quality. It used to be cheaply made. Um, and I can't say everything is better now, but at least what I have ordered in my experience with it um, has been better. And I think that honestly, a lot of it comes from the pandemic really upped it. I think that their shipping got better, their returns hopefully got better because I know before there were a lot of comments and this is why I didn't order from them before. A lot of comments were saying they never received their package or it was really cheaply made or um, there was no customer service. They couldn't get a hold of anybody and from my knowledge that's gotten better. So if you've ordered from Shein in the past it might be a better experience now. I can't say that's 100% accurate and I'm just speaking from my experience and going to show you guys the pieces that I got. And then also as a bonus, and I'm so excited about this, my best friend has also ordered from Shein and sent me over some clips of her trying on her stuff, her past experiences with Shein, um, especially back when it was a little touch and go. You saw a lot of comments where it was like negative stuff. And now there's like this rumor going around that somebody got like mites or something from Shein and there was one video I saw of a girl had like a dead spider in her package that was like huge and no it was alive sorry it wasn't dead um, and then she like lost it. I don't know if those are true. I don't quite believe everything on the internet. My experience was I took it out of the bag threw it in the laundry, I washed it, and then I tried it on, and now I wear it all the time. So the favorites that I got that I'm going to introduce to you guys first are, I got a pair of mom jeans, and I am about 100, I wanna say like 140 pounds, 142 pounds maybe. Um, I don't weigh myself right now. I am just trying to get healthy. I'm trying not to focus so much on weight because I've had some past issues with seeing the number on the scale and a lot of people can re relate to that so i'm just trying to eat healthy be healthy be active so i'm probably around 140 pounds and i ordered a large in these jeans just because all the reports were saying like if you want them to fit really loose get a bigger size um i'm about five four so if you can like kind of weigh out what you would need i think it's just small medium large it's not like numbers i think they have like it's between a six and an eight for like a medium or large or something like that so i ordered large can you do that i've worn these 
so many times, so the ribs have gotten bigger in the knees, but I like it that way. I like it airy and baggy because I can wear these in the summertime, especially if I'm not like wanting to wear shorts. Um, I'm a little, like I'm getting used to wearing shorts, but I feel like super exposed in shorts right now. These are like perfect for summertime. Also, if you guys remember in my other videos of my clothes haul that I went to Player's Closet, I got my size and mom jeans and they were way too tight because they're, again, they're not like hippie. Like you can't fit your hips in them if you've had a child or if you have bigger hips, it's, it's hard to fit in them. Um, and the like way they fit, it just looks, not very great on moms but these um i love them they're my favorite they definitely stretch out around my waist and are a little big at times but once i wash them they shrink back up just like regular jeans you wear them too many times and they are going to stretch out and be a little loose um so i just wash them and they're usually good to go for a couple more wears and I'll show you guys the jeans. Don't mind these. You're not seeing this right now. We have to do bottle return. It's kind of work. So I did look them up at the end, but I can move them down to show you guys where they fall. Um, they are super baggy. They're a little loose, but I like them that way. Gives me more room to move like this. I don't know in what occasion I'd be doing that movement, but. Like I said, these stretch out a lot, um, especially because I have a child and I'm doing this a lot. It did rip a lot, but I do like it this way. These were $22, I want to say, which isn't bad. A little more pricey than I spend on jeans. Um, I usually go secondhand and they're usually like 10 bucks, but the most like 15 I'll spend on jeans. This is like, I had a coupon, and I just wanted them, and I knew I'd wear them a lot, so it was worth it to me. I just realized you couldn't even see my lights, like, all the way. I'm hoping you guys can see from this angle that you're following me. I get sweaty pants, especially when I'm warm. So wearing light gray is like kind of risky for me, but I actually liked it. It comes like a little bit lower, so it's not as bad. Um, definitely falls at a really good length. When I wear high waisted jeans, I'm not feeling like my mom belly is showing so much, but also it's comfortable, it's airy. Um, this is the back. It's a perfect cut, so if you want to wear like um, a long necklace, I was watching a YouTuber, I don't remember what her name was, but she had this like exact same top on, and she had a long necklace with it, it was so good. So that's why I got this one, I definitely like this one better than the next one I'm about to show you, and I'll show you why. Here is the last item, another crop top. I don't know if y'all can see, but this, the top just kind of falls at a weird, like, these straps are just weird. This is the back, it's a little bit the other one, kind of cuts down a little bit more. But, um, this top, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I can, like, tuck it under my bra strap. Like, I don't know if you used to play basketball or any sports. But every time, like, I'd have, like, a cutoff, I just, like, tuck under my sports bra. That's what this reminds me of. It's actually kind of cute. So I might do that from now on. But I didn't like the cut of it. It was just weird to me. It definitely made my shoulders look more broad, and I already have, like, broad shoulders. But I think this one was on sale for, like, three bucks. And then that one, the gray one I showed you guys, I think it was, like, five bucks, six bucks. 
so the tank top sometimes you can see them on sale for like really cheap and definitely worth it they're stretchy and airy and they're not see-through go ahead and read all the comments though because you can really gauge what size and if it's worth it through the comments because everybody's so brutally honest on there so i believe both of these are mediums i think both of these are mediums and i am nursing right now so i'm like a double no i'm, not, I'm a d i can get away with a d d or double d it depends um 34 36 double d so if you guys want to like compare i know that I mean, this is stretchy, so it's gonna fit, fit me. Um, but medium is usually what I wear for tops. So, I think that's it. That is it for my haul today, and I am going to tuck this in. Oh, yeah. Way better. And with a necklace or something, that'd be way better. But anyway, I am going to switch it on over and show you my best friend's haul and her experience. And I hope you guys just have a great day and have enjoyed this haul. And it helps you to decide um, if you want to try Shein again or if you want to give it a try. Their jewelry, I'm not quite sure. I've been hesitant to buy, but I've heard is pretty decent for like a dollar or two for like a set of things. So it's cheaper, it's getting better quality. So it makes me more comfortable purchasing through them. Shipping does sometimes take a lot. Make sure you switch on. I know it's 99 cents more, but like guaranteed shipping. I don't know why they do that. And I haven't looked into it. But if you don't switch that on, I've learned, it takes longer for you to get your package. So it's kind of like they will guarantee it ships in the time frame. I don't know. I don't know if it's legal. I don't know if it's like whatever. But I switched it on because I was like, well, I definitely want to get my package. I don't know what that means. Um, so I am hesitant sometimes to purchase them just because I don't know what they're all about. But if I learn anything or have any updates, I'll definitely update you guys. But for now, that's all I have and enjoy the video. All right, so before I get into what I had ordered this time, I wanted to talk about my experience the first time I had ordered with Shein and what I thought was gonna be the last time I ordered with them. So three years ago, I get on the website and see how cheap everything was, which three years ago, everything was super, super cheap. I'm talking $2 for a bra and panty set. Like it was crazy cheap and I'm pretty sure they were having a deal on top of their normal low prices. So I didn't pay more than $8 for anything that I had ordered. One set I got was $8, but the other stuff was like $4, $5, $6. So in total, I ordered $50 of stuff. I don't remember how much shipping was, but I do remember that it wasn't free shipping and there were no returns. So I was stuck with whatever I got. So I knew it was gonna be risky. I was not super confident in it because I $50 is still $50, but I figured it was so cheap that if even if I could wear it one time, try it out, see how good it was, it was it was worth it. So I went through with it, took about a month to arrive, which I which was really standard for that time. I'm pretty sure that's about the time frame it told me it would take. But then I got them and they all arrived in these itty bitty tiny Ziploc baggies and they reeked. They smelled horrible. It just, I understand that happens during shipment transportation, but I was not confident at all in my purchase decision. So I tried everything on and I realized about what I expected, which everything was very low quality. And I knew that going in, you know, you buy something that cheap, it's gonna be low quality. And it definitely was. The other thing that I realized when I was on the website was that the sizing was crazy. Every piece that I ordered had a different size chart, so I was having to check everything individually, read every review individually to see if it actually fit to the size or not. It felt like a guessing game. And not everything had US sizes either, so it was just 
a little crazy. So I think that's one reason why I ordered so many different things too, because I figured most of them might not even fit me. And that was the case. A few of them were really small. They didn't fit right, whatever. But mainly the big issue was it just wasn't low quality. And if I was to put them through the washer and dryer, it probably would tear up. So there's about two things from that that I'll still wear occasionally. Um, but really, I just kind of counted that as a loss and figured I was not going to order from them ever again. But just like three years ago, Shein started being advertised to me like crazy. My friends started ordering from them a lot. And I could see from the advertisements that they had gotten better somewhere along the way. So three years ago, all the pictures were really terrible pictures or they were really low quality pictures or they were completely photoshopped. Like the pieces just looked photoshopped on the model's body. It didn't look right. There was something sketchy going on there. This time, all the advertisements looked like real models actually wearing the clothing. Clearly they had taken a step up somewhere along the way. So I go on their website this time and pleasantly surprised to see that the website looked way more professional. It looked like a real website, didn't look as shady as it did three years ago. The size charts actually made sense. They had the same size chart for everything. All the pictures looked real, all the reviews looked real, so I decided to give them another try. So it took about 12 days to arrive, which felt a little long, but I expected it. It's fine. But I cannot explain to you how much better this packaging is than what I got three years ago. The fact that there's even branding on it, there's some design, this is a better quality bag. When I ordered from them three years ago, what I got was vacuum sealed into little tiny baggies. And there's no smell. So already, I'm feeling a little bit confident. So another thing I noticed visiting the website this time is nothing was as cheap as it was when I bought it three years ago. So this bikini, if I remember correctly, was about $15, which is pretty much what you would pay from Target or Walmart. So my expectation was way higher. And already feeling it, it feels like a normal bathing suit. And I'm a little surprised to even say that. It feels like a bathing suit from Walmart or Target, it really does. Just kidding, I just checked my order. This was $12, not 15, so that makes it even better. But I'm extremely happy with the quality. It, it fits perfect, which is, says so much about how their sizing has gotten better. And the quality is awesome. It seriously feels like a bathing suit that you'd buy from any other clothing provider, and it's just a little bit cheaper. So I'm keeping it, I'm super happy with it. Here's a picture. So this one I was the most excited about and I'm the most disappointed by. So the bathing suit underneath, the quality is very good. It's exactly like a bathing suit I bought from Walmart a few years ago, so that's good. Um, it was also only $13, so that's good too. But this cover-up that came with it is very unflattering, itchy. I'm not impressed by it and I'm really disappointed because it looked so cute online and it just doesn't. Let me show you. So this to me just does not look as cute as it looked on the website. It is low quality like I said and itchy. It's the right size. Um, it kind of feels a little tight up here just a little bit but I kind of feel like I'm wearing a potato sack. It's really what it feels like. Um, I will say that when it first arrived, this part wasn't scrunched up at all. So I kind of just had to tie it really, really quick to make it look kind of better because it really looked like a potato sack when it was just straight. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this one. I'll definitely wear the bathing suit underneath. The bathing suit underneath is good, worth the money. Not so sure about the potato sack. <laughs> And finally, there's this crop top, which is the whole reason that I even got back on the site because I saw this advertising on Facebook and thought it was super cute, and it really is. And it was only $8, and it's very comfy. I've been wearing it all day. It's loose and flowy. It's perfect for the beach, but you can adjust the straps. And also, it has a bow in the back, which you can tighten, which I didn't, which is why it's so loose. But I like it that way. I paired it with some high-waist black leggings, and I think it's super cute, and I'm super happy with it.